Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing infectious diarrhea. Infectious diarrhea is a diarrheal illness that is usually caused by bacteria or virus. It is an extremely common illness that accounts for up to 100 million new cases each year just in the US. Most cases of infectious diarrhea present with an acute bout of diarrhea. The frequency of diarrhea can range from two to three times to more than 10 bouts per day. It can also be accompanied by low-grade fever, chills, vomiting, and mild abdominal pain. In severe cases, there can be weakness, dizziness, cramps, and severe abdominal pain. Infectious diarrhea is usually caused by virus or bacteria, but parasites can also be the cause. It can also occur after ingesting food contaminated by toxins produced by bacteria, a condition commonly called food poisoning. Most cases of infectious diarrhea, however, are difficult to distinguish simply based on symptoms. In acute infectious diarrhea, one should minimize burden on the intestinal tract by reducing and minimizing solid food or bowel stimulant. Thus, commonly consumed food such as hamburger, sandwich, pasta, milk, coffee, or alcohol should be avoided. On the other hand, broth or clear liquids are better tolerated. In severe cases of infectious diarrhea, it is preferable to rest the bowel completely by simply not eating. Drinking water supplemented with salt and sugar can prevent dehydration. Commercially available sports drinks such as Gatorade may be helpful for this purpose. In milder cases of infectious diarrhea, one can try over-the-counter remedies such as Imodium or Pepto-Bismol. However, in more severe cases, an antibiotic may be more appropriate. Preventing infectious diarrhea is not very difficult. All perishable food should be refrigerated and boiled for 10 to 15 minutes before eating. In addition, when traveling to lesser developed countries where hygienic standards may not be very stringent, one should only drink from bottled water and eat at reputable local restaurants. Thank you for listening.